Hello. This video is to demonstrate the integration between VC dial and VTiger CRM. Integration also includes the unique single sign-on feature developed by Alizen Tech. You do not have to log into both VTiger CRM and VC dial. All you have to do is log into VTiger, which will then authenticate the user and then automatically log you in. On top of that, you can access the VC dial and VTiger CRM functionalities from a single page. Right, so let me show you the first integration feature which is creating a user in VTiger which then gets synced to VC dial. So I'm going to create a new user in VTiger CRM. Let me just log in using my admin credentials. Right, so I'm in VTiger now. Let me go and create a new user. Right, add user. Going to create a new demo user. Cool. And going to give the extension as well. One double zero six. That's the phone extension. And save. Right, so I have the new user now, demo user. Now let me go to VC dial and just make sure that this user has been synced into VC dial as well. Right, so that's VC dial users list and show users and look for demo user. Here we go. We have this new demo user. Can you see that? Demo user in the system in VC dial with the same email ID demo user at alizentech.com so yeah so we just saw the first integration process which was creating a new user in vtiger which gets automatically synced into VC dial now I'm going to show you the next feature so I'll try to log in to vtiger using this new user which we created and we'll show the rest of the integration features okay we now have a demo user up and running in VTiger CRM. So what I'm going to show next is how the dial that functionality works using the demo user. Uh, what I'm going to do next is log into VTiger CRM using demo user. I am not going to log into VC dial separately. So VTiger will eventually log me in into the VC dial, right? Uh, let's have a look how does it work. So I'm going to log in into VTiger using demo user as you can see. Right, so if you can see, uh, the link has now been changed to access dialer. That means VTiger has logged me in into the VC dial as well. So that's what we've created at Alizen Tech. Uh, yeah, so if I click on access dialer, like I said, I'm not going to log in separately into VC dial. All I have to do now is select the campaign and that's it. So I'm going to select the Alizen campaign, submit. And that's the incoming call. Right, I'm the only person in the conference and I have to now select the inbound process. Select all, press save. This is all part of the widget we have created. Press save. Right, so as you can see, we now have this black strip or top bar or the widget, what we call. It says that I'm logged in using demo user into Alizen campaign. I now have start button, stop button, which is disabled, uh, manual dial, transfer call. I can park and grab the call as well, or I can change the inbound process if I want to. And I have final hang up button and the logout button as well. That's the current status, which means I'm currently logged in with the login status. So that's my visitor status basically. Uh, okay, so let me just make a manual call first and show you the manual dial process. So I'm going to click on manual dial. It says enter the number. It says with country code, but the way we made it is you can enter without the country code as well for now. 
So I'm going to write my own number. Right, press dial. I should get a call. Okay, it says live call here. As you can see, it's ringing. I hope you can hear my ring as well. And I'm going to answer this call now. Cool. So it's live call. I've answered the call. And yes. As you can see, the start has been disabled now because I can't start while I'm in the call. I can't stop while I'm in the call and I can't make manual dial while I'm in the active call. The options I have is park call, transfer call, and hang up and log out as well. Okay, so let me just show you how the park and grab works. So if I click on park call, right, I am on park now. I can hear the music. Um, and the option has now been changed to the grab call. I can't transfer at the moment. So all I can do is grab the call. Uh, let me grab the call now. Right. I'm back in the live call now. I've grabbed the call. So that option has now been changed to the park call. Right. So that's park and grab. I can transfer the call as well. So if I click on transfer, I have like full list of features here. Okay, I can transfer to external number as well or I can transfer or make an internal transfer or I can transfer directly to the another agent who is currently logged into the system. So which is maybe any other user. So I can, you know, uh, transfer to agent one or agent two or agent three, whatever. Um, yeah, there's a reload list button as well. So if I want to refresh the list of agents who are currently logged in, I can click that as well. Uh, after entering the number here, I can do a blind transfer. These are the functionalities provided in VC dial, like blind, blind transfer. That means I, I will straight away transfer the call to the another agent or external number and I will get disconnected. I can dial with customer as well. I can park the customer and dial or I can do an internal transfer. So all these functions are available in the widget. You don't have to log into VC dial at all. You can make all the transfer functionality works from your VTiger CRM in a single window. You don't have to switch between the windows. You don't have to, you know, log out from one window or log into a separate window or open different browsers. Everything works in one single window in a single browser. The other options are like leave three-way call or hang up transfer line or hang up both the lines as well. So yeah, these are the transfer functionalities which we have implemented in our widget. Um, yeah, that's that. And uh, that's it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hang up the call. So I'll press the hang up. The call has been disconnected. Now I have to select the disposition. Again, that's the way dialer works and we have implemented again the same functionality into the widget. So let's say this time I want to select the disposition maybe not interested or something like that. All right, I can double click on that and it will select the disposition. So that's it. So that was whole manual dial functionality, transfer call, park call, grab call and select disposition. Now I can that was a manual dial. I can make automated calling as well. So if I click on start, right? Now, whatever list I have selected for this Allison campaign, and in that list, there will be a list of leads or list of numbers. Those numbers will get dialed automatically. So at this time, it has dialed the number of Mr. Mehul Shah. As you can see, it has reloaded that number or that lead into the system right so i am on the live call with mr mehul shah and i can see all of his details over here in a single window so as you can see i'm working with vc dial and v tiger crm everything in a single window over here uh yeah so ideally yeah i can like you know change mail details while i'm talking to him on the phone and the details will get saved in the v tiger crm so yeah, that was automated calling, right? So I'm going to hang up that call now. 
again I will have to select the disposition maybe this time I will say something like call do not call right so that's that now as you can see I'm in the start mode it will dial the next lead but I'm going to stop it here so agent want to stop the calling so I've just stopped the calling oops maybe it has yeah it has dialed the number before I stop the calling uh, right in that case I'll just press resume calling so I'm back to my call I'm currently on the live call with Mr. Mehusha maybe his lead is the only lead in that list I'm going to hang up that call again yeah and this time I'm going to select a disposition again answering machine I'm going to stop the calling ASAP otherwise it will dial the next lead and it will eventually dial Mr. Mehul Shah because his lead is the only lead uh, yeah so that's that let me just start again I want to show you the postcode thing I have to stop okay now when you stop or when agent stops calling so we will ask the reason why have you stopped so basically why are you going into the pause mode so maybe agent want to go on the lunch break or maybe coaching pause or meeting pause whatever it is so I will say lunch break so again I'm going or agent or I'm going to select the pause code from the same window lunch break and that will show the current status over here on the right hand side which is lunch yes so I selected lunch break and the lunch comes up here um, what else let me just make one more manual dial again same number and press dial okay as you can see my number okay let me just answer the call okay I'll just answer that call uh, as you can see my number is not in the system right so what it's doing is it's trying to open up uh, a new lead page in the VTiger CRM so basically agent can go and fill in the details like here and let me just quickly fill all the mandatory fills if I can and press save button here that's it so I now have all my details over here now let me just hang up this call select the disposition let's say answering machine okay now let me just stop that I'm going into this time let's say briefing pause okay now let me go back to list of leads okay I'm on the home page right um, let me make one more manual dial to the same number and press dial okay I've got the call I have answered the call now and as you can see my lead has now been opened into the VTiger automatically right so system or maybe dialer uh, the integration what it does it checks if the number is into the system or into the VTiger CRM it will open up that lead if the number is not in the system it will create or it will show you the new lead page right so again, that's the integration between dialer, VC dial, and the VTiger CRM. I'm just going to hang up the call. And this position may be not interested. And I'm going to stop it. So maybe meeting pause. And that's it. So yeah, so that's the basic dialer functionality I've just shown you. Uh, there's one more thing we've created as if I go back to list of leads let's say if I want to export selected leads to Visidial uh, then it's really simple what you can do is uh, you just have to select the leads let's say one and that's it uh, yeah so you go back to the actions and then export to dialer that's something we have created and then you select export selected records and add to dialer okay it's now asking which list type you want to export this lead to then I'm going to say 
uh, existing list and it's going to show me all the list from the VC dial. In here I will just say Alison demo, that's the one there and I'll just press submit. Import lead successfully into dial tree, yeah. So I've just exported my leads from vtiger to VC dial. So yeah, that's all integration, custom functionality built by Alison Tech. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, cool, pretty much that's it, yeah. Thank you so much. I'm just going to log out. Okay, one more thing, yeah. If I log out from vtiger CRM, it will log me out from the dialer as well, from VC dial. So that's it. It's it's pretty simple and straightforward. You don't have to mess around with two different login logouts. It's like single sign on and single sign on from one place, and that's it. Cool. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, there is one more thing which I wanted to show you, but I forgot, and that's called something called click to call. Right, as you know that vTiger has a default functionality uh, whereby you can make a call from vTiger <clears throat> and that goes via asterisk server. Uh, but the problem with that is you don't get your call logs or call history or any information in VCDial. So at Alice and Tech, what we've done is we've created a new click to call. So if you click on, let's say, little this, this little icon over here, then your call will get connected via VCDial or via widget. So basically, if you click on this icon, this number will get dialed via the widget, which is on top of the screen. Um, and in that way, you can keep your call logs in VCDial as well. So I'm just going to demonstrate that little functionality over here. So let's say if I click on my own number, which is this one here, and it says dialed with widget. So if I click on that, it says calling that number. And as you can see, I'm just going to close the box. It's ringing. And you can see the live call over here as well. So, and it has opened my lead over here. So basically, this click to call works via the widget. And the benefit of this click to call is you get all the call logs and call details and everything, including the recording and everything, in the VC dial. So, yeah, that's that. Cool. Thank you so much. I'm just going to hang up this call now and the normal process disposition and the standard thing, yeah.